Welcome to Historical Spotlight. In our continuing commitment to highlight unique historical perspectives, today we are providing a tutorial on how to use the interactive Gettysburg Panorama featured on our website. To access the panorama, simply go to our website and then click on the link that is in the menu, Gettysburg Interactive Panorama, or the image in the sidebar that says Interactive Gettysburg Panorama. Now you will be brought to the landing page where information is given about the uh, application and information about the battle itself. Now, it, you can read through this or simply go to the panorama right away. The link is at the top and bottom of the page where it says click here for Gettysburg Panorama. Once you click on this, the uh, application will take a few seconds to load up. And if this loader does not show up, you are either presented with a blank page or a uh, question on whether you want to download Flash Player. I will tell you what you want to do about that once I explain the application itself. But for most of you, this bar will just load up in a couple of seconds, and then you'll be brought to the application. Now, our panorama reveals an area along the Edmundsburg Road from the Peach Orchard to just past the entrance to the Rose Farm. This area comprised a significant portion of the fighting on the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Using the arrow keys on your computer, you can scroll across the panorama or move up and down to any spot you want. It's also possible to zoom to the area that you want to get a better look at using the zoom in and zoom out buttons, which look like uh, old belts, belt buckles on a Civil War outfit. Now here we have a view of Little Round Top that I've just zoomed to and scrolled to, and we can see uh, pretty, pretty well, it's pretty good quality, all the different monuments that are on Little Round Top. Now you can actually hover over different landmarks and monuments on the battlefield to see what they are. So for example, I can scroll my cursor over Little Round Top and there you can see where it says Little Round Top. And I can go over to a monument, for example this one, and it tells me that this monument is the 91st Pennsylvania Infantry Monument. Um, now we are continuing to identify monuments and landmarks that are in, in this picture. So not all of them are identifiable right now, but we will be adding um, them as we can find them. One area that we have added most of the monuments to is the Peach Orchard, which I will scroll to now and just show you uh, how many we have identified. Here we are. You can see we have identified almost all the monuments in this area, and we'll continue to do so for the rest of the panorama. If you scroll off the picture, or for some reason your uh, arrow keys will not scroll you through the picture and you cannot identify any of the monuments when scrolling over them, you can just click on the picture and you should be allowed to scroll through once more. Uh, this can happen if for some reason your browser uh, deselects the application, for example. If I am on my Mac right here and I begin to scroll off and then scroll back on, the picture is deselected and the arrow keys will not allow me to scroll through. But if I just click on the picture, they will allow me to scroll through once more. So that's just one problem you might have. It's very easy to fix. If you don't have Flash on your computer, this application will not work. And that's most likely the reason you'll be presented with a blank screen or a question to download Flash Player. Now, if you're on a normal computer that can run Flash, it's as easy as just downloading Adobe Flash Player from adobe.com or uh, the website and um, you will be able to use this app. But if you have a mobile device, such as an iPad or an iPhone, and you don't have a uh, Flash Player on your computer, you will not be able to access Panorama uh, with all this interactivity. But you will be able to go back to our landing page and go to the bottom of the page and click on, click here to view the image if you do not have Flash installed. And once there, you'll be brought to this page where you can see a picture and to get a close up you just click on the picture, and then you'll be presented with the panorama. You can zoom in onto the panorama and see everything just like you could on the application. However, you'll not be able to scroll over and identify landmarks and monuments unless you do a flash and go to our program. So this program will be great if you want to visualize what General McClaws saw as he emerged from the Pitzer's Woods, or if you take a visit to Gettysburg and you want to become better oriented with this part of the battlefield. We hope to bring you more similar panoramas and programs in the future so that you can get a better view of history.